Hello, I'm Sydney Neely, and it's time for The Shortcut. Coming up on tonight's show, The Upper World. It's a powerful, new, mind-bending sci-fi novel, and get this, it's about to become a major Netflix movie. Joining me on The Shortcut to tell us all about it is the author, Femi Faduba. Hi, Femi. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm, I'm glad to be here. Thank you for joining us. So what is The Upper World all about? Yeah, so The Upper World is a sci-fi a uh, thriller. It's actually come out today, um, available in all, all, all places you buy books. Um, it follows a couple of teenagers. One is a 16-year-old boy named Esso, um, who's quite normal. He lives in a part of London that probably rese most closely resembles sort of, uh, Queens, New York, if that's a, a helpful picture. Um, and one morning, he's running to catch the bus to school, and he gets hit by a car and knocked out, not just out of consciousness, but out of reality as we know it, and into a place called the upper world. Then where did you get this idea for your novel? What was your inspiration? Yeah, I think probably a couple of inspirations. Um, you know, the, what, what, the, what the book does is bring together two very different worlds, um, which in many ways has kind of been my whole life. Um, you know, straddling a couple of different environments. Uh, I spent a lot of time in Peckham growing up. Um, and then, you know, I think on the other side, sort of like I, I went to uni at Oxford and was doing physics stuff. And so I was constantly navigating these different environments. It's actually definitely a, a moment for me where I thought, how do I reconcile these two different environments, which both have made me? Um, yeah, how do, I, how do I make these things add up the way they do in, in the physics books I'm reading? And I want to say congrats again on your Netflix deal. What has it been like seeing your work go from a book to a movie? Yeah, it's, it, I mean, <laughs> it's hard to describe, to be honest. Uh, I mean, this, this all happened as well in, in Corona, right? So it was August, I think, that, yeah. I mean, I, I, the world is, is kind of upside down and melting. Um, and I'm, you know, isolated in my bedroom and all of a sudden there's a 15 way auction for the book and Netflix come along and Daniel Kalia is, is keen to be involved. And so I, yeah, I mean, I was gassed. I was excited. Um, I, I would say it was, it was, you know, a dream come true, but I think it's actually beyond anything I, I could have thought to dream of. <laughs> oh, well, I am beyond happy for you and I can't wait to read your novel and also watch it too on my TV at home. Thank you so much, Femi, for joining us on The Shortcut. You can grab your copy of The Upper World today. It's available wherever books are sold. That's all the time that we have for tonight's show. I'm Sydney Neely, and I'll catch you next time on The Shortcut.